Hi everyone, Jorgelina here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Whether this is your first time, your second time, or you've watched all of my videos, I am so thankful that you have decided to click on this one. I have a really exciting unboxing today. I am updating my video where I talked about how I let some bags go to purchase some from Candy. It's not a complete video because I have only received two out of the bags that I bought from her. So these two are gonna be in here, plus a bonus, those are in here, but I still do have some other ones coming in. I have one bag that still has not been done paying for. What that means is that my item that I sold to her is still in a payment plan. So she's waiting for that item to be fully paid off and shipped before my item can be shipped to me, just in case anything happens, right? If somebody backs out or anything like that, um, if any of those things happen, then I completely understand that my bag would need to be resold, and then I would have to wait on the bag that I currently have on hold with her. Because again, I'm trying not to come out of pocket. If you watched my video recently, I told you that I let go of some other things that I've just shipped to her. Those haven't been shown on her page yet, so when those sell, I am going to be purchasing something else, of course, so those will probably come to me together. So that'll be another video because I want her to save on shipping and I am in no hurry to have these bags in my hand. I always tell her that um, I have plenty to use um, and because I'm perfecting my collection, I'm letting go of things that I don't use, so I'm not in any hurry to get those back. So. This one just arrived with two bags that I'm really excited about. I can't wait to show you what they are and to hear your input on them. But if you watched that previous video or if you didn't, I just wanna give you a brief recap. I let go in particular of one bag that had some really negative feelings for me. It was a bag that I felt misled on and letting go was sort of like a release. So getting something that I'm really excited about is really bringing that all the way around for me. So it's turning this really negative and ugly experience that was sitting on my shelf, even though I love the bag, that it, it just had this like ugly vibe to it into something really positive. So I'm excited to share that with you. And I can't wait for you to see them. So this is a true unboxing. If you notice, this is all still completely taped. Let me just cover this here, my address, <laughs> but it is all still completely taped from her. So I am going to just grab my scissors right now and open it up. I haven't seen them other than seeing them on her live, right? And the pictures that she sent me in our communication, I haven't seen them in person yet. So this is the first time I'm looking at them. So go ahead and dig right in there. She does do an extremely good job with taping. Well, not her. I'm pretty sure Josh is the one that tapes and packages these up, but he does a really good job making sure that they are secure. So I know you've seen other unboxings already if you've watched my channel from her because I've been pretty much buying exclusively from her because I, I did get a bag at the boutique recently that was a gift from my husband. But other than that, I haven't been shopping other than just letting go of things and getting something that serves me a little bit better. So, ah! Okay, I got it open. I have gotten it open. And let me just, whoop, ah! address. I might have to cut that off. Yeah, I think I'll have to cut that off. Okay, here it is. Looking very well packaged like I told you. I am going to just take this off. So, kind of take a look at what's in there. It's a few things. So, I am going to put this down on the floor and start pulling from it like I usually do. So, Right, I don't know, I, I know what I grabbed. <laughs> At first I didn't because I can't see it, but when I feel it, I know what this is. Okay, so she has her cute little uh, thank you here. I'm gonna put these off to the side. Any guesses? Oh man, I wish I could see live comments and see you guessing if you are. If you, I'm a guesser, I like to guess. Eee, it's the Odeon! It's the Odeon PM. Okay, so a little bit of a story time on this one. This bag is used. 
Um, she did talk about it having a tiny little bit of corner wear. Um, she said it was very hard to tell. And I actually don't see it at all. So again, she describes these bags so extremely well, and she tells you everything that could possibly be wrong with it so that you are, understand the condition that you're getting your bag in. I would consider this bag to be in pristine condition. I She did talk about corner wear that she could feel. Okay, I could feel it, I guess, <laughs> I guess. Um, but there's definitely nothing you can see. Yeah, I don't know, I don't think so. All right, a little bit of a story time with this one. I have actually owned this bag in the past for a day. <laughs> so I went to the, I ordered this from the boutique. This was a few years ago because this has been discontinued. But a few years ago, I ordered it. I really knew that I wanted it. I knew that it was gonna work fantastic for me. When it arrived, this was all crooked. And I know that this doesn't come across very well. On I think you can see it's very, very perfectly aligned. When I received my bag, it was in the case. It was like all wonky like this. Like it was really, really bad. It was still flat, but it was not aligning at all. And that was a bother to me because you pay a lot of money for these. So I went to the store to try to exchange it for another one. When I was at the store, they brought another one out that looked exactly the same. It was, uh, or maybe worse, but it was also super wonky. Um, the sales associate at the time was pretty annoyed with me uh, for not wanting a bag that was not aligned. So I felt like really gross about it. So I ended up just telling them, you know what, I'm just gonna return it. It had it was the same day that I received the purchase so like tracking number showed that it was just delivered to my house so they just gave me my money back um, I didn't end up getting anything in exchange or anything like that but it was so badly aligned that the own store clerk could not find the because um, I guess the chip the microchip is like um, here where you can see this logo this the microchip is around this area so she was using her scanner to try and microchip it for to process the return and she couldn't find it it took her a solid I was there with my husband but it took her a solid 15 20 minutes just to get it scanned for the return so at first I was just watching I was watching with panic because if she would have said it had no microchip or something like that I knew my head was about to be blown because I had just received that bag directly from the boutique. So it was just a bad experience overall, but I did know that I loved the bag. Um, I loved the size, I loved the way that it looked. I just absolutely love this front pocket and how I can put my phone in there. The ease, right, the ease of this, of this bag, um, how much it fits was just amazing. So, this strap, right, this thick strap that I can use with other bags. To me, that's a huge plus. You know, having this nice strap, it's thick, it's leather, it's black, it goes with all my other bags. So the versatility of this bag um, is something that I was really, really drawn to. Um, Candy did include an insert. Um, it's bright green, so it's not this like big black hole. Um, I see something in there but again that's just the insert so it doesn't matter the bag is in really good condition um you know i'm like candy she smells everything doesn't smell smells it just smells like a bag <laughs> so yeah it's perfect i love it thank you i i tell candy thank you for shipping out happiness because this is truly something that i am going to use so again Having let go of that bag and knowing that it funded this bag and that I get to have this bag in my collection now, I'm so excited. So really, really pumped. Um, you will see me do a review or what's in my bag at some point because this is definitely a bag that's not going to sit, right? I'm working really hard. I'm getting rid of all those things that I'm not going to use and getting ones that I will. So this is the first one. Okay. The other thing in here. <laughs> I don't even remember <laughs> because I have some more coming. Yay! I'm just kidding. I do remember. Of course I remember. Okay. Ready? This is another bag that I've wanted for a while. Um, 
But the for this one, I just couldn't justify the price. Uh, Candy had it for such a good price that I couldn't let it go. And you'll see. I love, absolutely love hobo bags, right? I do. I love big bags. I love hobo bags. So this bag is just perfect for me. It is the Flower Hobo. It is just slouchy. If you watch my What's in My Bag recently from um, for my Graceful, it's very similar to the Graceful. So this is why I just couldn't justify having another one. But in my eyes, right, girl math, I didn't have to come out of pocket for this. So because I didn't have to come out of pocket, because I sold things that I wasn't using, it just felt right because it's a bag that I can't really get anymore. So I'm just excited to have it. It's in really good condition. Um, the hardware looks like um, like it's scratched, but it actually still has the, the plastic on it. I don't keep those on, so this plastic will definitely come off. I will rip it off, but if you notice, the lock is in extremely good condition. And... Yeah, I mean, the, the canvas is in great condition. It's black on the inside. Such an easy to carry bag. Um, very, very much the same type of bag as that Graceful. But my Graceful is in Demi Arbeen. If you saw it, so this is monogram and black. It is different. It's a lot bigger, uh, which I really, really like. I do like big bags. Um, so I'm super excited <laughs> to have this one. Okay, that's it for the bags, but there is a bonus in here. It's inside this bag. I can feel it. I haven't shown you the inside because I know there's something in here. Okay. This is not a bag. <laughs> What's in here is not a bag. It is something, though, that I really, really like. Oh, I love it. Oh, okay. This one, she did say it had a perfume smell, and I could smell it. She did tell me about that, but it's not a bad smell. It is like she said. It smells like, um, like laundry detergent. In a, in a good way, right? So I'm not, a, um, it's not an offensive smell whatsoever. I don't mind it. Oh, it has another pocket. Oh, I wonder if she knew that. Does this turn? Yes. Oh my God. I didn't know that. Okay. So this little, this little key, if I take the lock out, it turns and there's a pocket. All right. I'm going to leave that unturned and probably nothing hanging on it because I'm all about ease of use. The buttons on the inside of these, of this thing are flowers okay this is amazing and again they still have the protection that's why they look like that so it's in really really good condition i actually really like this smell <laughs> it smells like very clean um the only thing that it doesn't have which i'll ask her for um are the keys <laughs> so there's no keys to the lock but i bet you i can find some so it's the 44 lock and maybe maybe it didn't come with them um, oh, I'm noticing a little bit of a scratch, but again, that again, things that I'm not offended by because I knew that it was in good condition, right? This is not one of the ones that she said it's brand new, right? Like I knew it, it was such, I don't even remember the price because again, I didn't come out of pocket, but I just know that it was well below retail. That's why I was able to get more than one bag for my bag. Um, so yeah, it does have a little bit of a scratch here. It doesn't even, you can't even see it. Uh, because of the ring light, but it's a tiny little scratch. And it, again, oh, I'm glad I'm not the one that put it on there. So I'm going to use it in good health and know that it's there and it won't ever bother me because I didn't put it on there and I didn't buy a brand new bag. I bought a pre-loved bag and got an amazing deal out of it. And again, nothing that she wouldn't have disclosed, right? So I knew that was there, uh, even if I, if I forgot. So I'm looking, it's a very big black hole here. <laughs> Um, so there's not much else to say. It's very strong magnetic closure, amazing bag. I'm excited to have it. Um, time for the next one. <laughs> okay. I just, I want to use the bags. Okay. This is the other one. That's not a bag. Um, this I practically felt, feel like I stole from her. <laughs> this was, uh, just extra. I had to have them as soon as she showed them. I knew, um, it comes in a box. If you saw, it's a Dior box. It's a very cute box. I hope you know what this is. But I am going to be honest. The price was so good, and I don't have a really nice holder for my sunglasses that's flat. So I really wanted one, 
that I can use my sunglasses on. I have some really nice Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I always sh uh, show because they're always with me. But the packaging from Louis Vuitton for those sunglasses, the little dust bag it comes with, it just doesn't protect your sunglasses well enough. And those are expensive. So to me, having a, 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 I really like this case. I know it's just plain, but I love it. And it's flat. And bonus, it has sunglasses inside that I really, really like. But again, I felt like I was stealing them from her because they were so cheap. But totally not something that I would actually wear because I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to wear them, but not something that I would have bought in store because they are so fancy in my opinion. But, oh my God. Ready? I'm going to put them on. <laughs> They're so, so big. Okay, here's the side. Okay, I I love them. I do, I do, I do, I do. I love them. So, um, yeah, let me know how you, what you think. Do they look good on me? Because I like them. I'm going to wear them today. I am about to go to back to school night. It's still very sunny here. It's been 100 degrees all day. Um, but I love my new sunnies. Again, I feel like I stole them from her because they were such, such good price. Usually... I don't go for sunglasses that have little feet like this. So this is because I wore glasses for the majority of my life. I had LASIK surgery a few years ago and I haven't worn glasses since. Obviously that's why you get LASIK for. Um, and I wore glasses like this for the majority of my life and I just had these like ugly indents here forever. Uh, so I've always preferred the ones that are built in, like the plastic ones. They are just a lot more comfortable than these. And also when I, I like putting my uh, glasses on my head. And when I do this, if they have feet like this, it gets stuck in my hair. But I will wear these remembering that not to put them on my head. And I will put them in their case. So super excited. I don't have any glasses like this. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't have any. I mean, I'm not a big sunglasses person anyway. I don't have a lot of sunglasses, period. But this is definitely not... Uh, anything close to what I would usually wear, but I'm excited to have them. And I'm excited for the case. The case will probably get way more use than the sunglasses because I'll continue to use my Louis ones that I got for Mother's Day um, this year. And I've been using those exclusively. I really, really like those. So with that, you saw my unboxing. I'm super excited to get to use those bags. It, this week alone, well, actually, now it's been two weeks, but I've had the Diane that I just got from my husband for a week and a little now, and I've been wearing that one. I haven't switched out of it. I'm loving it. I am going to do a comparison on that one that might go up before this, but by the time you see this, it's been two weeks and I've gotten three bags. That's way more than ever in my entire life, in contemporary and things like that. It's just so many all at once that I don't even know what to do. <laughs> um, so... I definitely am um, still expecting more, which is like crazy that I got so much out of things that I wasn't using. So my next video talking about this subject, I will share with you the SLGs that I let go of. There was a total of three um, and what I'm getting with that. So I have one more bag coming that I'm getting with those three SLGs, another bag that I've wanted, and then my cream of the crop bag and I can't wait to show you that that is my ultimate just like dream bag it will probably make no sense to most of you of why I wanted that bag so bad so I'm just patiently waiting for my other bag to be paid off so that I can put it towards that one luckily for me is that that's Candy's bag and she didn't want it anymore. So it's from her personal collection. So she knows how much I wanted this bag. So she's okay holding it off for me until that bag is paid off. So she hasn't offered it to anyone else because she knows that my bag cover is that. So when that one's done being paid off, that baby will come to me and I can't wait to share it with you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that'll be next. So I'm not sure how long, right? So again, I'm not in a hurry. I told Candy to wait until my other items are sold now because I sent, sent three of them out. So then those two bags can be shipped together. So she's saving on some shipping. And yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. If you have a favorite between the two that I just got, let me know which one. Um, do you have any of these bags in your collection? What do you think about them? Are there any issues I should be concerned about uh, with these bags, right? there, It's not like it's something I can return. I am planning on everything that I buy from now on that they are bags to keep. 
I can't wait to incorporate these into my everyday. So I hope to see you on the next one. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button and you like this type of content, please make sure that you do. I will always, always appreciate all of the new subs, all of the love, and I will keep it going in the comments. I will see you on the next one. Bye.